Hi, welcome to the channel. My name's Tom Pito, and today we're gonna to do a 30 minute lower body barbell workout. We're gonna do two sections in this. Section A, you're gonna use a heavier bar. You're gonna to need to be able to do about 12 reps of a barbell back squat with that weight. There's gonna be five exercises. We're gonna do 40 seconds of work with a 15 second transition between exercises, and you're gonna do three rounds. Get ready to go. We're gonna start off with a barbell back squat. Keep your elbows underneath the bar and your upper back tight as you squat down push your knees out to the sides keeping them on the outside of your big toes don't be afraid to flex your knees letting your knees come slightly in front of your toes make sure your tailbone isn't collapsing under too much at the bottom of the lift try and keep your eyes up and your chest relatively upright Next, bring the bar to the floor and you're gonna do a conventional deadlift. Start with the bar directly above your shoelaces or the tongue of your shoes. You're gonna drop your hips down slightly, tighten your upper back up, and then push into the floor with your feet at the same time hinging at the hip, bringing the bar to the top position. From the top, unlock the knees, send the hips backwards, bring the bar back down. Feel free to reset your back position on every rep if you find that it's slipping out of shape. Next, we're gonna do some calf raises holding the barbell. Come up onto your toes, squeeze the calves at the top, lower back down until your heels touch the floor, then come straight back up into the next rep. Try and minimize the amount of time you have with your heels on the floor, maximizing the time under tension by spending more time in the top of the rep. Next, you're gonna come down onto the floor. You're gonna roll the bar up towards your hips, bend your legs and get ready to go for a glute bridge. You're gonna do a three second pause at the top of every rep, coming down briefly, making contact, then straight back up into the next rep. If you find the bar uncomfortable, you could use a squat pad or put a folded up towel between your hips and the bar. Make sure you're pushing off your heels rather than your toes and squeeze your glutes together at the top. You should be pivoting on your upper back. Keep your arms straight. Don't have the bar on your hip bones, have them just below. Back to your feet now, we're gonna do a sumo deadlift. Have a wide stance with your feet turned out about 45 degrees to one another. Your hands should be on the inside of your knees with straight arms. You want relatively vertical shins. You're gonna tighten your upper back up, pushing into the floor at the same time, hinging at the hip, bringing you to the top position then push your hips back, coming back down. If you need to reset your shoulder blades between the reps, that's absolutely fine.
Well done, that's round one of three complete in section A. Take a 30 second break and we're gonna go again with round two. Round two of three done in section A. 
take a short 30 second break and then we're going to go again with that third and final round in this first section of the workout. Well done, that's the first section complete. Moving on to section B now, you're gonna to need to take some weight off and have a lighter bar that you can do 12 comfortable reps of a barbell front squat with it. 
we're going to do five new exercises still doing 40 seconds on with 15 seconds off and we're going to do three rounds we're going to start off with that barbell front squat so have a break and get ready to go There's a few different ways of holding the bar for a front squat. Neither of them are wrong. I'm gonna use a crossed over grip, as you can see here, because I find it easier on the wrist. But if you want a more conventional grip, that's absolutely fine. A front squat should have a more upright back position than a barbell back squat. You wanna still keep the knees pushed to the outside of the big toes. Maintain good back posture. Don't let the tailbone collapse too much as you come to the bottom of your lift. Breathe and brace for every rep and hold the bar in the most comfortable way for you. Bring the bar onto your back now, ready to do a barbell good morning. Get the bar as low as you can on your back. The lower you can get it, the less stress on your lower back. Pull your shoulder blades together and keep your upper back muscles tight for the whole rep. Unlock your knees, pull the hips backwards, hinging at the hip until you get a big hamstring stretch. When you reach maximum hamstring stretch, squeeze the glutes forward, bringing you back up to the top. Make sure the bar isn't leaning forwards in front of the toe line. Instead, you should be trying to keep it directly above your feet. Next, we're moving on to an alternating reverse lunge. Alternating backwards steps, drop the back knee as close to the floor as you can get, or just gently touch it if you've got a soft enough surface. Keep the elbows under the bar, try and keep the chest relatively upright. Make sure that front knee isn't collapsing in towards the big toe. This next one's tough to master, but we're gonna do an alternating Romanian deadlift. If you're struggling to do it with the bar, just do it with your body weight instead. Shift the weight over to one leg, hinge at the hip, lifting the back leg up behind you. Don't round your upper back, so you still wanna keep your shoulder blades pulled in back. The biggest mistake I see on this is not lifting the back leg high enough and overdoing the lean of your upper back. So the bar shouldn't come that much further past your knee. If it is, you're probably rounding your upper back or you're extremely flexible. Bring yourself onto the floor now, roll the bar up towards your chest and you're going to do a barbell leg raise, maintaining a reaching crunch position. Keeping your head and shoulders off the bar in an engaged reaching crunch position, you're going to lower your legs down until you feel like you're going to arch your lower back off the mat and then lift them back up until they almost touch the bar. When you're lowering the legs down, your back should not arch off. And if you do, you just need to either brace harder or just not put your legs as far down. You should feel really good tension in your abs throughout the whole set.
There's round one of three done in section B. So you've got a 30 second rest and then get ready to go for round two. two of three done in this final section of the workout. So take a 30 second rest and get ready to go for that third and final round.
and that's it workout complete thanks for joining me if you enjoyed the workout hit the thumbs up button give the video a like also put in the comments have you got any requests for any kind of barbell workouts you'd like to see i've got a playlist with loads more follow alongs different lengths different body parts that you can get involved with so check that out don't forget to subscribe hit the notifications icon so you don't miss any posts also in the description i put some links to some cool kit that i'd recommend and also there's some ebooks that i'm bringing out so make sure you check those out and hopefully see you again soon for another workout